SAMCART Courses App Review. In this video of the new SAMCART Courses app, I'm going to give you the pros and cons as I see it, and then we'll also do a brief setup to see it in action. One little thing, I haven't used it yet. With all plans on SAMCART, you have access to unlimited courses and students. There's currently no limitation. That, in my opinion, could change in the future. They haven't said that. Oftentimes, that's the kind of thing that happens. SAMCART's gonna give you the ability to allow your customers to buy other courses easily. They don't have this released yet. It's in beta. It's called Course Cross Sells. And one thing SAMCART's doing that they haven't done in the past is they're gonna start storing payment information. What that means is if somebody's inside the SAMCART environment, they will already know their credit card, so that way the customer doesn't need to type in their credit card again. Of course, they can add a new one, but it just makes it that much easier to purchase. That is a big thing in my opinion. It just makes it that much easier for somebody to buy something else of you. I wrote down password. I know this might sound a little strange or trivial, but honestly, it's kind of a big thing. For other uh, sites that have course capability, and especially if you buy from, for instance, a cart like SamCart and get transferred over to another place where the course gets delivered, passwords are a major hassle. Sometimes they get lost. In other words, the email gets sent out with password and login information and people miss it for whatever reason. This setup, when somebody purchases, they have automatic auto login access. So there's no reason to even have to know your password, though I'm pretty sure they're gonna give you one. It just makes it smooth transition from purchase to access immediate. And then in my opinion, SamCard's taken a winner-take-all approach, and their competition, in my opinion, is Thinkific, Teachable, Kajabi, Podia, others. And the reason I'm saying winner-take-all is because, for instance, they're allowing unlimited courses and students, the ability to buy other courses, they take care of the password stuff. Thinkific, Teachable, Kajabi, and I don't think Podia, they all have, for instance, the ability to accept payment. However, they don't do it nearly as well as SamCard. The best example I can think of is bump slash upsells and downsells. SamCard just cleans them, relatively speaking. So there's a lot more upside in terms of revenue for you as a result of what SamCard has done relative to the other platforms. So now let's dive into a SamCard app and see what it looks like. Inside your SamCard account, if you go to apps, you'll see courses apps below. So I'm gonna go in there and I haven't done anything. So I'm literally starting from scratch, no idea what to do. So let's just do what they say, create your first course. And I might end up speeding up some of this stuff, but we'll get to the end. I know, a little cheeky using Sam Card's own video, but what the heck. So, so far pretty easy, nothing fancy. I mean, it's nice that they got little help things to give you an idea of what the heck it is. But man, it really does look straightforward. A lot of capability to add in additional content. And I'm just gonna move along. So this will be the course, this will be the units and lessons. And what do we do here? We're gonna create, ah, oh, and then here's the other thing. You've got different tiers. So in other words, you might have a gold, silver, bronze level. If they have the bronze level, they get access to two out of four. If they have the silver, they get access to three out of four. If they have the gold, they get access to four out of four. So you've got a way to basically divide up your course into different levels, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a unit, and we're gonna call this unit one. And it looks like there's a default basic tier. And I've got some editing capabilities. What's nice is when I go back, it doesn't lose it. So I'm gonna go in here and actually put something. Let's view or edit. That's kind of a nice feature. And it looks like I can add whatever I want. Videos. Just another way to access things. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. All right, so now let's go back. Here's another feature they have, which is kind of, in my, in my opinion, important. They can, you can drip out the content. Instant access, if you want. So let's just see what drip does for us. Day of the week or days from previous. So for instance, somebody purchases on a Wednesday, you could say seven days from then. 
And what is exempt? Ah, oh, got it. So you can have a drip schedule and make certain content available readily at that time. So you can click on the exempt. And I know there's, <clears throat> for instance, quiz capability in here, things like that. And here we go, we can assign products. So that was it. That was literally pretty darn easy to get set up and ready to go. Let's take a look around here. Of course, no students because we haven't set this up before. Settings, course library, localization. So there, we just went through the setup for a course um, and we created one relatively quickly and it doesn't look fancy. And my guess is there's changed the colors and I'm guessing the layout's gonna stay pretty much consistent. But in general, that was relatively easy to set up and get going. So that's the Samcart Courses app review.